in this lesson number four, I am explaining the visible inclusions regarding visible inclusions because the inclusions are very helpful in identifying the stone. Identifying the stone is an aid to the trade. That is the reason. Now, we should understand what is inclusion. Inclusion is not a damage, not a crack. Inclusions are not visible, sometimes visible, but not visible to naked eye. Sometimes we can see. The contents inside the gemstones are invisible to the naked eye. Those are called inclusions. Those inclusions are very useful to identify and tell some very important things regarding the gemology and geology. So we are learning this from this lesson four and the future lessons after lesson number 50, uh, 49. So it is very, very important, important. Now look at this. This is Montana in America's Montana sapphires are very famous. Montana sapphires in America. The Montana is the city is in America. That Montana sapphires are very high priced. Carbonate and analyze, 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 analyze. This is called analyze. Carbonate and analyze mixed with colored thin film like defect. We can see little thin film like this. It is included with carbonate and analyze mixed. So this is a natural inclusion. When the stone is creating 35 million years, 3. 35 million years before, when it is creating inside the lava, this is the status cooled. Inside here, carbonate and analyze mixed and given the colored film like defect. Colored film like defect. This, this is 1.28 millimeter long stone has been enlarged. When we enlarge, we can see these inclusions. Look at this. This is Myanmar stone sapphire. The flow in the Myanmar sapphire with the star effect, you can understand. See, 60 degrees, 60, 60, there are three layers because the sapphires are crystallizing in this hexagonal shape. When the sapphire starts a crystal, first crystal shape is creating inside the very, very, very inside here. It is the place we are starting. They are starting the improving this uh, crystal. The first one creates the hexagonal shape. And another one is create around that another hexagonal shape in this manner it is creating a big crystal then layer is like this there are three layers these layers are creating the star we learned in lesson number two so a flow in the Myanmar sapphire with a star effect in which dispersed rutile fibers are crystallized you can see the rutile fibers are crystallized in 60 degrees it inclined with 60 degrees three layers are there little by little improve in the uh, shape. Then little by little bigger crystal is creating. Then it is called uh, rotile crystallized, crystallized fiber rotiles. This is 1.28 long section of the stone in magnified, magnified. Now look at here, it is Sri Lanka. This is natural stone in Sri Lanka. It is mica crystal. This is mica crystal. But, but it is showing a uh, lot of colors, like spectrum colors. This photo taken under the polarized light, 1.99 millimeter long stone enlarged. This is given the uh, evidence to the natural uh, inclusion, the natural inclusion in the natural stone, the evidence of natural stone. Here is the same thing, natural inclusions in Sri Lanka. Rotile fiber, can you see? This is the one rotile fiber 
crystallized. The other one, 60 degrees. The other one, 60 to this. So there are three layers. We learn in lesson two. These are rutile fibers. Rutile fibers arrange a elongated silks. Elongated silks. This is two millimeter long stone magnified. Can understand it. It is natural inclusion. Another natural inclusion, it is like fingerprint. So it is called fingerprints. Inclusion from uh, inclusion from Sri Lanka stone, it is formed during cooling 35 million years ago. Inside the lava, it created and cooled. When it is during cooling, appear as fingerprint. These small holes are filled with liquid or gases. Sometimes carbon dioxide liquid, sometimes H2O, water. Carbon dioxide liquid or carbon dioxide gas. H2O liquid or gas. But it is very, very small. 3.74 millimeter long stone is enlarged. This is called fingerprint. It is a remarkable inclusion. Now look at this. It is Montana from America. Microscopically, the inclusion in the Montana sapphire, which appear biplane diffuse, biplane diffuse appears, look like this. Can you see biplane? It is 1.44 millimeter long stone in, in light, natural inclusion. When we come here, this is from Madagascar. See the inclusion here. Photogenetic carbonate crystals. Copies are there here. Carbonate crystals always found in sapphires are formed from carbonate rich marble. It is formed with carbonate rich marble. This is 2.9 millimeter long Madagascar sapphire stone enlarged. It is a very good inclusion to understand the stone. It is natural. Now look at this. You can see the we learn in lesson two this uh, rotile needle like silk pattern. It creates the yellow star. So needle like golden silk pattern of dissolved rotile. Dissolved rotile and ilmenite. Rotile and ilmenite creates this pattern. It is star effect. It is given star effect when we cut. This stone is natural from Australia. Now come to here, Sri Lanka. This is Ceylon Sapphire. In fiber optic illumination, we can understand well later in lesson number 48, the illumination methods we are using. Now I can explain fiber optic illumination. Under the fiber optic illumination, we can see this photo. It is like thin film resolution, elongate, elliptical, or other shapes. There are a lot of shapes. Elongate, elliptical, elliptical, and more shapes are there. All are natural inclusions. When it is cooling, 35 million years ago, when it is cooling, it happens. The 1.29 2, 2, millimeter long Sri Lankan sapphire is magnified here. Now we are going, going to here. It is Kashmir. Inclusions in thin cloud design made of nanoparticles. It is made of nanoparticles. You know the nanoparticles, I think. Very, very small particles, like a cloud. This is very high priced. These are sold at a very high price for a velvety look because it is giving velvety look. This stone is from Kashmir, but in Sri Lanka is very famous for this. Velvet, velvet blue. 
we are we can learn it after 50 lesson number 50 we can learn it velvet look right this is 1.9 millimeter long stone enlarged it is a natural inclusion very good like velvet now this it is tanzania sapphire natural stone look at the inclusions here kyanite is rare thing rare kyanite inclusions these are kyanite inclusions inside the tanzanian sapphire this highly biofringent you know the biofringent means giving two colors double refractive giving a lot of colors biofringent colored inclusions are visible when observed using cross polarized light this is the uh, lighting condition we are discussing later cross polarized light now you cannot understand but we will teach you later a section of three millimeter long sapphire is enlarged it is tanzanian natural another one from madagascar look at the shape very nice inside the stone very nice and the color and the pattern sapphires often show intricate intricate designs patterns intricate patterns like grainy it is like grainy it is very high priced so it is inclusion natural inclusion this is four millimeter long madagascar sapphire stone enlarged another one here it is sri lanka sapphire look at the inclusion very nice inclusion. There are a lot of colors are given here and there. Rare thin membrane, thin membrane, positions like healed eruption. After the heating, when it is cooling, this uh, eruption is healed. Can be seen in Sri Lankan stones. It is five millimeter long Sri Lankan sapphire magnified. Sometimes we can see this. With naked eye also. It is natural stone. Here, Cambodia, natural stone. Another stone, another something is inside the uh, blue sapphire. It is, it is another thing. Due to the bright red of this pyrochlor crystals, the displacements in the light scatter look like a comet's tail. It is look like comet's tail. See. It is Cambodian sapphires. 1.72 millimeter stone is enlarged. Look at this. Sri Lanka sapphire. The negative crystals. These crystals are called negative crystals because it is like negative sign in mathematics. So, negative crystals of sapphires from Sri Lanka's metallic rock sources contain liquid carbon dioxide. Inside these negative crystals, often liquid carbon dioxide is there. Very small. Graphite and diaspore crystals. Not only that, graphite is there and diaspore crystals. We are talking after fifth, lesson number 50. Diaspore crystals also included there. This part is 2.62 millimeter long Sri Lankan sapphire. This is natural stone inclusion. And look at this. Another stone from Australia. It is natural. A large patch. It is big patch filled with therapeutic iron oxide. It is filled with iron oxide. Stain appears as a banded, like bands, banded, pigmented, Colorful colors are included. Mask on fiber optic fluorescence. Inside the fiber optic fluorescence, there is the lighting condition taken by in this picture comes through the fiber optic fluorescence. The magnificent section is 1.43 millimeter long Australian sapphire. It is also natural. Here is very nice. It is, this is a tourmaline. When we discuss tourmaline in future lessons, you can understand this crystal shape. This is the crystal shape of tourmaline. Inside the sapphire, tourmaline crystal is there. The presence of tourmaline crystal as an impurity is unique to cashmere blue. Cashmere blues. Inside the cash cashmere blues, it is a unique thing. 
magnified section of 4.6 millimeter. So with this, we can tell this stone is the origin of the stone is Kashmir. Now come here. It is Thailand. These healing substances are deposited as iron-rich liquids. When it is cooling, all the inclusions are healing. When it is healing, it fills with iron-rich liquids such as limonite on the surface of sapphire. The section is 1.42 millimeter long Thai sapphire magnified. But this is also natural inclusion. Another one here, again from America, Montana. It is here, look at the color, brown orange is there. Brown orange, pyrope almondine garner. We are learning later under the garnet family. Pyrope almondine garnet is the thing here. Earlier we saw tourmaline. Here, here tourmaline. It is tourmaline. But here it's a garnet. Almondine garnet. The color is brown orange. Quarries in Montana, a highly prized Tehran geographical area. Interesting blue and pastel colored sapphires are available here. Blue and pastel colored sapphires are famous in Montana. Magnified part is 2.04 millimeter long. It is natural inclusions. Look at this. Very nice. Thing. Same. America, Montana. Microscopic appearance. We can see this through the microscope. Of a yogo sapphire stone with triangular dam type. Triangular dam type. See the, the dams like dam type. Triangular dam type. Lamprophire. Lamprophire crystal impurities. Crystals are lamprophire. Magnified portion is 1.44 millimeter. It is Montana, America. Now we learn there are 20 types of natural inclusions. Very important thing. Later we are learning more, but this is very important to remember. It is very important to remember these 20 types of inclusion here. Do it anyway. Not a difficult task. If you do, you win. Join us and learn and enrich your future. We will meet in the next lesson number five.